Hey everybody, here's part three of the spiky ball. And we're gonna change our code a little bit and make it look neater. So the first thing we can do is we will name this red star and collapse it. So I will add a comment, click on the question mark, red star, close it. And then right, uh, right click or control click and collapse it. So now we have the blue star and the red star. And the green one, I'm not sure if you noticed this, but we have two translates here. We have one translate doing one thing and one translate untranslating some of the translate. So I think we can condense it to one translate. So I'm gonna take that apart and render it. And we'll see that, look at that. The Z is under, because we rotated it. Uh, do we rotate on the Z? Uh, no, we rotated on the Y. Um, so we can go to this translate right here. We did do a translate of 20. And then we can start experimenting with these numbers. So let's translate the Z40. See what happens. Oh, it's going the wrong way. So it was at 20. So let's put our Z back at zero. Okay, it's getting closer, but we still need it up a little higher. So now we want it to be because we rotated, we'll try negative 20 of our Z. And it looks like the right height, but now we need to move it in the X direction because of the, the X is the red. Well, look, we move the X right up here, negative 15, and our X is translated zero. So let's try the negative 15, just putting it in there. Um, I think that Z needs to come down a little bit, but our X looks pretty good. So let's try a negative 15 for our Z. Perfect. So now we can get rid of a block. So we do want more efficient coding. So now we have one more to do to complete it. So I will duplicate this. I think at this point I'm going to add a comment and collapse this to get it out of the way. So this is the green one. And then, and I'll just work with one piece. It, it makes it much neater. So you can see this now that our code's getting really messy because we would have four looking like this. Um, so now I think we're gonna rotate the other direction. So we rotate it on the Y. Oh, we'll change the color so we can see it. We'll take a purple and take it this way on the Y, the 35. All right, so we have the right angle. We just need to move it now. We need to move it up and to the right. And this was negative 15. I'm gonna take it 15 because we've rotated it. Oh, wow, look at that. Beautiful spiky ball. So while it looks hard and overwhelming, the fact that we duplicate the code makes it much easier. And think about where it goes. So I have one last comment to make, and this was our purple star. And then I will collapse this. And you see it rendered. And we have nice, neat code that looks great and you can rotate it around. You want to um, take a picture of it, you just click on this, gives you a JPEG, downloads it, um, and you can go on and make your screencastify video of it as well.